Hello, and welcome to the interview channel. Today we'll be talking with Captain Robert Price. He was a combat officer in the raid on Kabanatan prisoner of war camp during World War II that was led by Colonel Mucci. Captain Price was one of the 121 Rangers present on the mission. How are you doing today, Captain? Quite well, thank you. Lovely! So let's just dive right in, shall we? When you were first briefed on the mission, what were you thinking? At first, I thought it was complete insanity. Then as I heard more and more about the suffering those prisoners were going through, I knew it had to be done, no matter the risks. Were you ever afraid during the mission? Oh, plenty of times. I was constantly on edge, and every movement made me jump. Did you ever think you were going to fail the mission? Well, at one point, when we had to cross the Japanese military transport road, we came across a tank that had stopped for some, some odd reason in the middle of the road, and it was evident that it did not intend on moving. In order to get past the road, all 121 of us had to crawl below a bridge on which the tank was sitting. I honestly thought there was no way in hell we would make it through unheard. Did you ever distrust the rangers of the Filipinos that were in charge of guiding you? I always had faith in my rangers. They were the best of the best. The Filipinos were another matter. Although most Filipinos were on the American side, not every group was, and I'll admit I did have my doubts about our guide's loyalty once or twice. You mentioned that you had horrible blisters on your feet throughout the mission. Did this ever hinder your progress? No. It hurt like a son of a gun, but I knew I just had to keep on going. Plus, what was a man like me to say that my feet hurt and I couldn't go on? I'm a ranger for Christ's sake. You're depending on those elite Alamo scouts to get you the layout of the Kabanaton camp for the raid. Did you ever doubt them? Hell yeah, I did. Right up until the night before the raid, they didn't have nothing but a few guard towers marked on the map. Fortunately, they found a tall farmer's watchtower and managed to get the full laydown on, lowdown on the camp just before the raid. Wow, it just got really bright in here, so hope you don't mind. It's got on some uh, sunglasses here. You're the combat officer in a mission. What were some of the challenges in organizing the attack? Well, first and foremost was the element of stealth. We had to have that on our side, no matter what. That was one main challenge. Another was making absolutely sure the Japanese had no opportunity to retaliate when the shooting started. What was the main thing, main thing that you thought would go wrong? I was almost certain throughout the whole mission that we were going to be found out at some point or another. Colonel Muti was your commanding officer throughout the mission. Did you trust his leadership? Who didn't? Every ranger in the regiment adored him. It was practically an, a sin to doubt him, and I agreed with that. He was one of the smartest men I ever knew. What were you thinking when you crossed back into American lines with all the POWs? The one thing running through my head was simply, I can't believe we did it. And that's about it. Wow. What an incredible story, Captain. Well, that's all the time we have this week on the interview channel. Make sure to tune in next week on the interview channel for another interview.